Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's been a very long time since I've been live here with you guys. Um, I have to get some equipment, but I'm moving forward starting today. This is the uh, Virgo New Moon, and it is the same time as Ostara, which is the Christians call this Easter. Uh, is the spring equinox, meaning that it uh, we are bringing in more daylight and less darkness. It is time for winter to go away and summer to, or a spring to emerge. And with springtime, we have, you know, often our animal, our forest friends are having their babies and you know, uh, it's just new life, new beginnings, all kinds of amazing new things. And with Virgo as our new moon this year, I mean, coming into new moon, and it's going to be here for a while. Our Virgo new moon, our Virgo, we're going to be in the sign of Virgo for a while. Um, and I resonate with that because I am a Virgo rising. So, and I, and I can tell you a little bit about, you know, us Virgos, you know, we're the ones that, well, not particularly me per se, but the the general population of Virgos and the sign that we're in, it's it is a time, it is an earth sign and it and it understands how things work. Um, it's good at making and creating and improving all kinds of things. Um, from perfecting haircuts to building houses to uh, healing bot it's a healing bodies um some of the best virgo and qualities are critical thinkers organizational people patience uh craftsmanship devotion devotion is a big one i know for me personally i'm i'm really great at cutting hair i am totally devoted to who whomever i'm with or uh family members people that are close to my heart i find myself completely devoted to those people um, I, I may, I take a deep under, I, take, I try to deeply understand other people, you know, and we, we're, we're, we're good at that stuff. Uh, yeah. And, um, so I wanted to read from a, one of my favorite books here. Uh, I wanted to read a little passage to you. Um, and it's actually called, uh, The Book of Blessings and Rituals. And I really enjoy this book because it's a really nice book. Um, a calling to connect with all forms of new life. A star represents the reemergence of the goddess from the underworld, manifesting the physical rebirth of springtime, like I just explained. You know, all our forest friends are creating and multiplying. Uh, and Easter gets their eggs because uh, Ostara was, came in the form of a bunny. And so that's where we get the get the bunny rabbit from the Christian Christian faith. Sorry to break anyone's hearts or <laughs> I'm not taking sides, it's just facts. You know, this is it came that's that's where Easter originated from, from the pagan uh I'll just let you <laughs> I get a little tongue tied because it's the first time I've been live for a long time I, I i haven't done this in a very long time but i'm gonna get back at it i'm not gonna set myself for any specific times i am gonna come to you once a month that is my plan at least once a month and so back this is a time of celebrating which you know celebrating the 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 renewal of life i mean flowers are springing from the earth uh babies are being born from deer to rabbits to birds birds are laying their eggs and i mean plants are starting to grow and erupt from the ground um, the ground is unfreezing the the streams that were locked up and frozen are now flowing and free to go and that's you know we cleanse our crystals and things and we put them in there so you know it's amazing it's amazing what mother nature what gaia 
has in store for us and how she protects us and cares for us, feeds us, provides for us. If we know how to use her and live off the land that she's given to us, we can, we're virtually unstoppable. We can do anything. Um, this is a time for celebrating. And I'd like to recite the following uh, blessing aloud to honor this new cycle of life. As the wheel of the year turns east, the air warms and sweetens, and the sun dances in the sky. The ice of winter has become a flowing stream, <laughs> as I just said. Nourishing, nourishing emergent life. True. I call to you, Ostara, goddess of the dawn, to help my intentions grow and blossom like the wildflower flowers and your fruits. Bless me as I seek to cultivate my dreams with inspired vitality. I celebrate fertility of all kinds and honor my existence as a sexual being. Not to be fuddy-duddy here, but I mean, that is how creation works. You have to be a sexual being to create new life. <laughs> a lot of us mothers know all about that. <laughs> Myself included, I've had three. Um, capable of giving and sustaining life. Isn't that what we do? We give and we sustain their lives throughout their entire lives. If you want to be technical. Which each new sunrise, Gaia finds her balance, masculine and feminine united, intertwined. And I watch now as light overtakes the darkness. All of life reaches now for the sky, for liberation, for expansion and healing. I sing the song of spring and kindle hope in my heart. I ask for blessings of fertility and beauty upon all of Gaia's children. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that so real? I just love it, you know? I love, I love the reality of that. And we say, Amen, Aho, and so it is. <laughs> So I'm going to open the circle. I'm just going to keep it light, you know. I'm not going to get real serious and get really into everything here. I'm going to try to keep it as light as I can. I'm going to open the circle. I'm going to read some. I'm going to pull some cards. Do maybe a little sound therapy. And I'm going to clear the space first. So we're going to do this. We're going to call in the elements. All of them. I'm maybe going to call in spirit this time because I feel called to bring that in because this is a time to create and emerge from the darkness and I feel like this is really calling to myself really really in intently you know it's calling to my to, to myself as well you know because I'm creating my new business now I'm really getting things going I'm, I'm hopping up on it you know this is the time it's calling to me it's been calling to me for about the past five years and you can only avoid Gaia Mother Earth, God, Jesus, uh, Allah, Lilith, all of them, you know. One thing that all the gods and goddesses have in common is love is the greatest of all. I have learned that. I have practiced many, many, many religions, and I am well-versed in each of them. And one thing I can share with everyone is that one thing is for certain they all believe in, you know, being kind to others. They all believe that love is the greatest of all. They, we all, they all do. They all pray. They all believe in their own, you know, that answer, that prayers can be answered, that miracles happen, whether you're Christian or pagan or Native American, whatever your, 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 your background or your religious preference, it, it all, it, they all believe that prayer answers answers are when we pray you get it so let's start with uh hair because that's usually where we start in the great wheel so i'm just gonna uh light a little incense here um i'm gonna use uh, i'm gonna use some sage So, 
It doesn't take much. It really doesn't. I don't have my owl feather. <laughs> But, you know, it's really good to sage behind you. I mean, it clears all of the negative energy away. So from all directions, uh, it's good to, our hands are our magic tools. So I like to cleanse my own magic tools. I hope that you do the same. I mean, you can cleanse your crystals. Uh, you can cleanse your tools that you use. Me, I use my my wand. Um, so many different things, you know. So and send some clearing and healing energy to all of you as well. Receive my blessing to you with gratitude, humbly. And just get a little drink and celebrate the season. Don't worry, it's only tea. <laughs> it's totally PG. So we go from air, which is calling in the east, and we just shared. And we go to south, which is fire. And these are one of my homemade rolled beeswax candles. As you can see, I... <laughs> It starts a little crooked, uh, but I'm getting to learn to, to use the beeswax candles. It's not as easy as the homemade poured ones. <laughs> and so I'll leave that sit there for you so you can... And you know, staring into the flame, that's another a, a, a way to meditate. So to just simply stare into the flame and meditate, it, it's a form of spiritual, spiritualization, you know, you can, it, divination as well, both spiritualization and divination, you know, can be done with that. Um, so, and then earth, which I have a grid here that I'm gonna show you. It's not glued down, but I was going to, whoops. As you can see, I have a grid here, and I'm gonna show you how to activate a grid. My plan is to teach you as well to activate a grid. Like I said, I'm just gonna keep it really light and just show simple things today because I'm just, you know, this is the beginning of something new. I want to let you know that um, I am opening my business. I'm currently in the process of printing out some uh, business cards and I have some friends with a few biz a few friends with a few different businesses and I'm gonna put them up in their shops uh, some is uh, some hair salons some some of my friends have hair salons some of my friends work in drug and alcohol counseling programs um, some of my have offices there you know some of my, I just have several friends with offices of their own that they can certainly display my business cards and what I do is so healing for not just the physical body but the soul as well so it's both emotionally mentally physically psychologically and especially spiritually I mean it just you walk away you feel like you've dropped 20 pounds, like you're leaving something negative behind because you are, because I'm extracting that negative energy and I'm putting it into uh, that tight container. I'm, I'm, I'm clearing that from your body. What's stagnant and of no, no longer of use to you, you know, that no longer serves your highest good or the highest good of those around you or the people that you care for. You know, so it, I, it's it's a really healing experience and I would urge you to certainly reach out if you're feeling, you know, a little down or lost or set aside from yourself or maybe you just don't know what direction you want to head right now. I mean, it would be great to get in touch with me. You can reach me at my email at lisarenee 526 lisa at gmail.com. That's L-I-S-A-R-E-N-E-E -E -E L-I-S-A. Five two six L I S. Oh my goodness, Lisa Renee five twenty six Lisa at gmail dot com. You should be able to spell that L I S A R E N E E five two six L I S A 
at gmail.com. Phone number is 814-935-4680. Please send me a text or give me a call. Everything is completely confidential between us. I will not share your name with anyone, client, patient, client, <laughs> practitioner, confidentiality, 100% completely confidential have no problem keeping you know things quiet uh us gemini's are known for that <laughs> i'm a gemini rising and <laughs> or gemini sun and moon and i'm virgo rising so i'm complex but i'm quiet i'm discreet and i'm knowledgeable i'm intelligent and those are some of my really greatest i'm creative you know and so i'm using my natural born gifts to thrive and grow and I've done so much growing in the last four or five years. It's time to move forward. I mean, there's going to be naysayers. There's going to be people that pick on me. There's going to be people that say this and that. And you know what? It doesn't matter because I'm here to help you. I'm here to bring service to you, to be of service to you. That's why I'm bringing these full or new moon rituals once a month to you for free at no charge to you and it will get much more serious as time goes by but for now i just want to take it easy and go slow and i've got so many talents and so many so so many gifts that i can share to help you make your life the best that it can possibly be you know i love to see someone else thrive and grow and shine you know there's more than enough to go around for everyone there's no need to be greedy there's no need for me to say oh well you're in my practice so we're rivals no 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 I, that's not the way i see it i i believe you know that gaia universe god you know whatever higher power you may believe in my higher power has given me so many gifts with not to mention my intuition and I have been told very clearly that this is my calling. This is my path. I'm meant to help people. I'm meant to help people jump those hurdles. I'm meant to help people overcome their fears, their anxieties, their stresses, to take these things away that have attached to them, that are stagnant or of no use to, for them to reach their highest potential, uh, for what, what serves them and what serves others through them, you know, everyone is gifted and let me help you find your gift. I would love to assist you in your journey. And until then, I mean, just watch my free videos and I'll be happy to share that little part of it. So moving on, um, I'm gonna call in the corners. What was I saying? Oh yeah, we did the, we did the air, which was I, I gave you some of uh, my white sage to clear the energy. I lit my candle to bring the fire to to the element. Um, now I'm going to go for water, which is two different things. One is cheers to you. And that is anointing for me. I like to anoint. So I'm going to use my blend of essential oils. And when I... Oh, my lid gets stuck. Doggone thing. There we go. All right. And I can teach you to do perfum perfumery as well. You know, that's another another time. I mean, any questions or, cons or you know, in if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments. Or if you have any suggestions, by all means, please, I am open for any suggestions. Any negativity, please keep that to yourself. Nobody wants it. It's not, this is a safe place, a tight container and a safe place for all. So please come, welcome, sit, enjoy, take a moment, take 45 minutes of your life once a month to just be you, pamper yourself. So let's use water and I anoint my wrists for what I do, my third eye for what I know and my ankles for where I go. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> Over the winter, I put on a few pounds, but it's okay. You know, like five pounds to lose. It's no biggie. <laughs> uh, I can be gone in a week, but it's neither here nor there. 
Uh, so then I would like, so we've done air, we've done fire, we've done water, and now we'll do earth. And when I do earth, I consider, you know, my crystals to be of earth. I mean, earth is also, you know, my herbs and, you know, things of that nature, uh, because that came from Gaia, you know, so let's just open a circle. So I'm going to call in the, call in the corners. Um, let's call in earth, or I mean east, the element of east, the direction of the rising sun, air, for, let's get my drum and start, I like to drum a little bit with you. Here we go. Spirit was speaking to me there for a minute. It just kind of caught me. I apologize. Call into the guardians and the gatekeepers of earth, of air. And we call in, or of, of the east, and we call in the direction of air, in the direction of east, for uh, new beginnings, clarity, guidance, new behavior, thinking. Uh, so we're thinking, you know, success, uh, abundance, uh, creation love healing you know focus on if, if if you're if you're hurting somewhere you know close your eyes and focus on that on your body healing itself because our bodies do heal themselves it's it, we're capable of that we get the flu we don't have to take medication we can heal ourselves we're calling in the element of air and air is good at that you know removing what's no longer necessary and fire in the direction of south for transformation relationships sleep exercise power strength passion courage fire's transformation desire passion creation call to the energy Great mystery, the ether. 
what's invisible but is but 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 we know it's real but we know that it's real Welcome the guides and guardians in the direction of spirit. It comes in um, amenities and binds them together across space and time. So let's talk about crystal grids a little bit. Well, we still can here. Let's uh, discuss some crystal grids. I'm gonna move this over so that you can see what I'm doing. You're gonna wanna take your double terminated wand. And if you don't have a double terminated wand, it is perfectly okay and completely safe to use our finger, like I said. Our hands are our magic tools, you know, our hands, our minds, spoken words and written words are just as powerful as anything else that you can use. If you have no tools, you have no candles, you have no sage, you have no palo santo, you have no black akash, you know, you have nothing, you have nothing to use. It's okay. You don't need to, to, to fret. There's nothing to fret over. You don't have any crystals, that's fine. You can simply pick a stone out of your driveway or from the ground. It's the same, you know, it holds whatever energy you want. A crystal, a clear quartz, you can program that to be pretty much anything. It can be, uh, you could, Igerine, um, Fuchsite and Ruby, Garnet, uh, Barite, uh, sapphire and there's so many different things anything the energy you want you just hold it you meditate it for however long you know that you you feel the need and you can meditate that and you can feel it in the palms of your hands even you know like it's beautiful it's beautiful so I'm going to take my, and you want to start, you know, in, in the East. And if you know where that's at in your home, you know, that's, that's, that's beautiful. So what you do, I'm going to move this to the side just a bit. Okay. So you start with your right here. And this is already programmed for love, abundance, renewal, success, healing, um, the beginning, beginnings, new beginnings, creation. I already programmed this before. And with your crystals, when you are, you can point them inward toward your crystal to point them in, to point your, to put your point in this direction. You are, you're, you're directing that energy into this crystal that you're creating. Or you can turn it around, turn, turn your point the other direction and point it in the outward direction and send that energy out into the universe to other to the to others so i'm going to keep this energy for myself and we'll, we'll just go this way touch each one healing magnification success and go around 
abundance, renewal, creation. And you can go around as many times as you want to activate that grid. And you have that grid activated. And you can leave the, I can usually let my grid sit for a month. And then to deactivate the grid, it's the same thing. You know, you just, you start here instead of the center. You start from the outside and you come in and you deactivate. And you always come back to center. So I'm gonna call my energy in for creation, renewal, success, new beginnings. I hope you, you enjoyed that little peach and you had to use a crystal grid. I'm also going to, while we're at it, I'm going to read, I'm going to pull some cards for the new moon. I mean, we are in an Aries new moon and let's see, let's pull for the collective. This is my new moon uh, intention deck. And I just want to share with you a new moon. Let's see what Gaia has to share with the collective. What can we all benefit from hearing right now? What is a message for the collective? What is something that the collective needs to hear? Everyone listening, everyone attending, whether you're here now or here later, it doesn't matter. I mean, I had trouble even getting this to go up, so <laughs> this is pre-recorded, unfortunately. But it's okay, because I'll get it figured out. Every challenge, every, every block in my way is simply a challenge to overcome, to prove to myself that it can be done. I am powerful, I am successful, and I will overcome any challenges that step in my way. So Gaia, please uh, share with us something that will benefit the collective to, for setting new moon intentions. Right now is the time to, there it is. Right now is the time to set intentions. So in order to, in setting an intention, let me teach you how to set an intention if, if you're new and you don't know anything about this. To set an intention is to speak spoken words, not just to remain thoughts, but to speak spoken words, to write them down on paper, write it down. You can even write it in the air, you know, it's, it's like light, it's like, it's like, like, like light language. You know, it's like you're speed speaking in a light language by writing it. And to say your name repetitively, repetitively, Lisa, 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 Lisa. Or getting your mala beads and 108 for the 108 chakra systems, you know, in our, in our bodies, you know, the 108. And you repeat the mantra over 108 times with your mala, like, and success, happiness, renewal, success, happiness, renewal, success, happiness, renewal, success, happiness, renewal, or you're calling in love, or if you're setting an intention for a lover or a husband or a wife, it'd be, don't set the intention that I want Joe Bob to want me to move in with him. You can't bend the will of another. I mean, you can, but it's not, it's not recommended. I don't recommend it. I highly do not recommend that you bend the will of another that's, it's, it's not healthy, it's not good for you, and it's certainly not gonna look good for you in the future. Um, so the way I would put it is, I would ask, you know, universe to send me a tall man with brown hair, a sense of humor, um, gentle and kind, patience, uh, generous, like the qualities that you're looking for in an individual, someone who's affectionate, who loves me. I mean, that's not per se what I'm looking for is I have what I want, but 
if you're looking for love, those may be qualities that you're you're interested in. Those may be some maybe qualities that you want. So don't say, I want Joe Bob to move me in with him. Say, I want or, or I'm calling in the energy of love in the form of patience, in the form of acceptance, in the form of understanding, in the form of wisdom uh just there are so many so many things that every individual wants something different i mean i don't want the same thing you want you don't want the same thing i want that's why everyone has different personalities everyone has different intentions and needs and just write it on a piece of paper speak it into existence light that piece of paper on fire let it burn out so that the universe you know not only hears what you're wanting and what you're asking for and believe me universe provides before i found my husband i basically begged universe to you know universe gaia god jesus holy spirit um whatever you want to Lilith, Hecate, uh, Athena, you know, the goddess of love and war, the whatever you know you suits you, and whatever you believe in, Buddha, uh, Ganesh, you know there are all different religions, you know, and all different all different styles and personalities and things and. Yeah, be specific. The more specific you are, the more you're going to call in those specific traits. I want a man who is gentle. I want a man who is kind. I want a man who is honest. I want a man who is faithful. I want a man who is fair, who is just, who is patient, who sees me for me, who loves me for me, who accepts me for me, who doesn't want to change me, who sees my flaws, accepts them, and moves forward with it, you know? Put that on a piece of paper. Put it in writing. Light it on fire. Send it to Gaia. Make your dreams come true. Everything is possible. Anything is possible. And there's more than enough to go around for all of us, you know? As far as, like, money or a, or a job or a vehicle or a home there is space for everyone creation wouldn't have given so many people on the planet if there wasn't enough to sustain us all it's a problem of greed for some that they, they they hoard it like no one's gonna get like if you get what's mine i won't have it anymore that's not the way to see it it's, I have enough for everyone. I have a humble home. I'm comfortable. There's a roof over my head. There's food in my belly. My family is happy. Everyone is cared for. There's clothes on my back. I'm comfortable. What more can I ask for? You know, my needs are met. And if your needs are met, that's great. And if they're not, set an intention. Because now is the time for creating. Now is the time for manifesting at the new moon, the Virgo right now you know I, I did explain the qualities of virgo and and what this sign that we're in right now does you know it keeps it all together it's an earth sign understands how things work making it a good making it good at creating and improving all kinds of things from perfect perfecting haircuts to building houses to healing bodies some of the best virgonians qualities are critical thinking organization patience craftsmanship devotion these are all qualities that are right now in the universe people that have been together for 20 years are separating right now i know i have several friends who are separating right now after be being together an entire lifetime you know, this is a time of change. People are saying, this isn't what I want for myself. I'm starting something new and I'm doing the same thing. This isn't what I want for myself. I'm starting something new. I'm creating this business. You can put me down. You can shame me. You can say I'm this and I'm that and I'm the third and I'm next and I'm this and that. I don't care what you say about me. I am who I am. I love myself for who I am. If more people would do that and not and not fall against themselves or doubt themselves or 
question themselves in any way. We would be so much farther ahead. There was a point I let the people hurt me. I let the people drag me down, but I'm so beyond that now. I'm so past it. I'm so over it. It's so not worth my time. It's so not worth my energy. Those people are irrelevant because they don't wish the best for me. The people that wish the best for me are the people I surround myself with. And I'm happy with those people. Moving on. The card for collective. How beautiful is that? Happiness shared. <laughs> that is a beautiful card. <laughs> and I'm so happy that universe has this message to share with us. Intention. I was just teaching you how to set an intention. I travel in gratitude for my soul family who shares the sacred work of this lifetime with me. <laughs> Isn't that what I was just sharing with you? Forget the naysayers. I choose the people that support me, that lift me up, that give me a pat on the back that say, you can do this. I cheer you on. Go, Lisa, go. <laughs> I just love how how universe, you know, talks to us, how it resonates with me specifically. This is my gift, you know, and I love sharing it. And I can't wait for the next new moon or full moon for me to share more of these gifts with you to get more in depth like my original videos were, you know, we're going to get back to that point. But right now I'm starting out baby steps. You know, I'm just letting you get to know me, getting myself comfortable in front of the camera. I still had to pre-record this anyway, you know, so until I get everything straightened out, I'm going to move at a slow pace. But I do have my shop set up and I am prepared to do, you know, chakra alignments, energy extraction, Reiki, um... I'm going to hold ceremony, live ceremony here with my friends. I do have several people that are be going to be coming on full or new moons, depend, you know, in the future. I didn't give a date or a time or set a specific new moon or full moon that I'm going to do this because this is just starting out, you know, baby steps. I need to get my name out there, get some publicity, put my cards out in my friends' shops and their businesses and their offices. You know, I have enough of friends that I can do that and I can get my name out there. And I'm excited to do that. Um, so I travel in gratitude for my soul family who shares the sacred work of this lifetime with me. The journey of my soul is better for the company of those who walk this path with me. And I, walk, and I work diligently to heal and improve my relationships with those I love. And the stone is kunzite. And the essential oil is a fragmented pini. And I can show you a kunzite stone. A kunzite stands for love. Just bear with me and hold for one second. And I'll be right back. Sorry about the interruption, but um, here are some kunzite stones for you to see, you know, the energy that Gaia has chosen us to work with. This is kunzite. I don't know if you can see it. Well, it has a pink U to it. But they're very much a heart stone. Like if you put kunzite up against a clear quartz crystal i don't know if you can you can kind of see the difference but it's got a pink hue to it and it's an amazing it's an amazing crystal i've worked with kunzite many times time and again so yeah i mean everything i was just telling you everything i was just showing you everything i was just talking about gaia threw it right out at us you know, so it's basically telling me it's it's kind of a, not only is it to to the collective saying everyone follow your dreams, step out of the old, leave behind what no longer serves you, don't stay in the stuck stagnant 
unhealthy relationships or marriages or friendships or uh, situations or whatever it is. You know, if your job isn't what you want it to be, make it new. If your relationship isn't what you want it to be, leave and start again. If your family dynamics aren't where you want them to be, work on it. Don't You don't have to walk away from it. But you can change it. You can set you can set boundaries. You can start new. You can say, this is what I'm going to change about our relationship. This is how I'm going to change myself. And if you choose to accept me, great. If you don't, then you didn't really love me in the first place. You know, just let me read this one more time because it really, really touches me. It touches my soul. I'm going to get going. I'm going to close the circle because we've been here for about an hour. I travel in gratitude for my soul family who's who shares the sacred work of this lifetime with me. And I'm, I'm doing my sacred work of this lifetime right now. And I have those people that are sharing this with me. And I know that you do too. You just have to look. The journey of my soul is better. The journey of my soul is better for the company of those who walk this path with me. And I work diligently to heal and improve my relationship with those I love. Kunzite and Fragonanti essential oil. So like this is my essential oil that I use, you know, third eye for what I know, wrist for what I do, ankles for where I go, what I know, what I do, and where I go. Walk in beauty. So let us close the circle because we are out of time. I'm not going to hold you up any longer or any later, you know. I release the energies of, of the East, energies of air, of new beginnings, of thinking, of clarity and guidance. I release the energies of fire. I release the element of fire, the guides and guardians of the South, of fire, of transformation, desire, passion, and creation. I release the energy of water, the guides and guardians of the West, of renewal, abundance, compassion, love, tender and softness. I release the energy of North, of East, of, of Earth, and the guides and guardians of the North, grandfather energy, grounding, patience, perseverance, presence. I release the guides and guardians of spirit, the Akash, the great mystery, the ether, what's invisible, but is known to be real, what we can't see, but we believe in. I release you now in gratitude and with love. Amen. Aho. And so it is. Thank you for joining me in Ritual this evening. Thank you for spending time with me and feeling the energy that's about Ostara, the creation of what's new, Aries, new moon, creating. So if we could just name some things that we want to create on at our new moon. For me, I want to create, I'll, I'll name a few things for myself and for you. So let me call in some energy of love for people who are looking for love, energy of compassion, forgiveness, happiness, joy.
welcome to my sacred space. <laughs> welcome. I'm glad you came to join. It will get better from here. I promise. We'll go back to the way things used to be. I'll get there. It's the beginning. This is the beginning of something completely new. Let's enjoy that. Let's enjoy that. shoulders back take a deep breath feel it in your diaphragm allow yourself to receive the blessings of the new moon of Aries of Ostara Thank you for joining me for Sacred Ritual. Thank you for joining me for this time. I look forward to meeting with you again. Next time we can do it live. <laughs> I would love to meet up with you again. Next time live. So I'm going to get what I need to do this with you live next time. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Until next time. Blessed be.